So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, Carlos Rodon. And Singy, it's unique these Reading days, off, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Rui, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And another ball. And that one flips the corner. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Way back there. Tattooed and gone. He wastes no time on this one, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. He's been so difficult to pitch against lately. It seems like no matter how you attack him, he finds a way to punish you. You gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Orlando Arcia. Oh. And a good eye there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Right, right through there for a strike. But the big bat's coming up, and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. That one to first. Wells yeah. takes it himself. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Michael Harris. Yeah, Boog, this lineup is setting up the pins for him right now, and he's just smashing them. Driving runs in at a high rate over the last couple of series, and it just seems like he's enjoying every opportunity he gets in a big spot. Not everybody likes to be on the big stage in those big moments, but right now he does. Those pressure moments almost seem to be what he's thriving off of, so we'll see if any of that comes up in this one. Pitch in the dirt, and a count one and two. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. That one lifted to left. Verdugo gets under it, squeezes it, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. Riley. No. Ball one, no strikes. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that is the inning. Looking back at the solo blast that led off the game. It's now 1-0. Back at Yankee Stadium. And towing the slab here, Spencer Strider. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, that whip is just below the league we average, and that's a good thing in this Not case. Not allowing too many base runners. So, on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win. And I expect to see that from him in this one today. The wind of the pitch. Oswaldo Cabrera. The leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Strider, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Oh. And that's outside, and that's ball one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike one two. Ball. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Up the middle, all these. Throws the first in time. One up, one down. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a ball club that likes to run, Chris, your favorite. They got athletes, they can steal bases, and they do it at a high percentage. 
Yeah, and I like the fact that they continue to push the envelope. Even if they get thrown out, it's not going to cause them to shut down the running game. And I think that's what's been so critical in terms of the success they've had because that pitcher has to think about the hitter good. and trying to slow the down that field. track meet on the base pass. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. And there's the strike. Wow, no fair oh, right one. there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand. This one blasted the other way. Down the line, and it's a foul ball. Two outs. Up and in, and that is ball one. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. <laughs> on the ground, right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Three up, three down. Back in the Bronx. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Matt. Rodeau back to work. Fly ball down the line. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. He really needs to start making more contact. Striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And he brings it into the warning track. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Fought off foul. One out and a runner at second. Here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Man, it's second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone Come these on. days, One that's trick. a devastating combination. Kicks and deals. Fouled off. He was late. Olsen at second with two down. One in the dirt, blocked. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. And oh. that just misses. Yeah, Travis Darno in the on deck circle. Runner at second, two down. Hey. Got it looking for the K. Braves strand one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back for more from the Bronx. The Here's game. Alex Verdugo. The left fielder. Verdugo. The pitch. Strider's a guy known for his velocity. He can bring it, but that wasn't always the case. Coming back from an injury in college, Strider was throwing 94 to 96 miles per hour boot when the Braves drafted him. Now he lights up the radar gun with triple. There's a swing and a drop. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 
That one hit to right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. One down. And up next for New York, hit. Austin Wells. The first baseman. Austin Wells. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Strider out there on the mound for this one, and he's a guy who had a really impressive college career, but needed Tommy John surgery while playing for Clemson. The Yanks trailing by a run here in game one of this three-game set. Yeah, the swing and a miss. You know, Boog, Strider spent time with a sports psychologist at Clemson while rehabbing from his surgery. He talked a lot about the concept of purpose and the importance of having a defined goal for everything you do. You know, it's something Strider now preaches himself. Kelman pulls it down, two away. John Birdie at the play. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Straighten him up a little bit. Man on second, two down. Out towards right center field. And there's a hit. Around from second is the tying run. It's 1-1. One -one. Comes through with the RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Runner at first with two away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Birdie runs. One ball. It's a pitch out. Okay. Throw. Save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Rudder goes again. Pitch is low. From the third, save. That wasn't close. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down, but he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. Good hitters count the 2-0. Oh. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Two outs. That one ripped. Harris snags it on the run. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. Back in New York. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno. Darno, a former All-Star, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall. Around first, heading for two. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Man at second. And that one fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 3-1. He's really seeing the ball well lately. Good things are going to happen when you're locked in like this. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike. But instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Oh. And the pitch a little bit low. One and ball one. 
can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. On the ground, and that one finds its way through. The right and his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down. Acuna in the box here lets that one go for a ball. The no, next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why. Rudder takes off, oh, swing and a miss. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. That one, one not close. Three and one. Center field. Grisham settles under it. That's out number two. Here's Austin Riley. Oh, and that one's oh. a little bit low. Ball one. Found back our way, and that's out of play. The one one. Line drive. Makes the catch in and over. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 3 1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. Here's here. Jose Trevino. The captain. Okay. The right to kick the pitch. So after right. scoring runs, this is where you're looking go for ball. that shutdown One, inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The 0 1. In the air, out towards left center. Kelman makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting. So the batting order turns over. Oswaldo Cabrera digs in now. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's two away. And now it's Juan now Soto. Batting. Grounded out his first time. Juan Soto. And that one pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. And one ball two. one. Next pitch misses outside. The count now two and two. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty to the plate. And okay. that's off the inside edge. Three and two now. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. It's tough after falling no behind batter. a hitter, two the balls and no field. strikes, but no, now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. Ten, ten. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Stan, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Rip to short. Throws to first. Out with room to spare, and that. 
And we're back. Start of the fourth. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Rodon back to work. Best ball for a strike. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. He's a fastball savant with the bat, which is really helpful in today's game. Fastballs aren't getting any easier to hit these days. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Double play ball to oh. second. There's one. Oh, yeah. Relay to first. Double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> and that hey. was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Two down, nobody on. To the right side, and it oh. goes just foul. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Next one pitch ball. is in the dirt, and the count one and two. Oh. And the slider just misses. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. Hard hit, right side. On to first, and that is that. Back in the Bronx, now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The right-hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Foul ball there. Popped up. Albies settles underneath it. Makes the grab one away. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging the in. He's over. Love Mayhew. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now. now and here is Austin Wells. Fly to left his first well. time. Chopper right side. Olsen handles the chance. Takes yeah. it himself. Out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back now in the Bronx. And now Jared Kellner. The pitch. Gets the slider in there for a strike. No ball. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. And a foul ball. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Just no, missed. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. And, and the count is one and two. Three. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. Back to the leadoff now spot in the Braves lineup. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The 
pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo ranging after it. And that is that. Back at Yankee Leading Stadium, off, and the batter Yankee, now, John Birdie. The second baseman. John. As he Birdie. turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm Birdie. delivers. There's a strike. You know, oh these Yankees, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've Woo. probably been too aggressive at times. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. Out to center. And it drops in. So a man on base to start the inning. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Birdie runs. Pitch in for a strike. Tag, save. Stolen base. Darno too late with a throw. Birdie at second with nobody out. Rudder goes again. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. He surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. The pitch. Oh. Just missed. One ball. Two straight. center sizing this one up makes the grab no tags for home the throw is on the line and he's in the score and now they trail by one there you go nice little rbi there it's a great at bat got the job done and next for new york jose trevino jose trevino Right through there for a strike. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Way out front for strike two. The Braves leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Down base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. In the air to left center, Kelnick sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Oswaldo now Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Cabrera. The shortstop takes the ball. One and out. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs. Back to right, Acuna there, and he makes the catch, and the inning is over. But here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton, now, and leading off, in. Orlando Arcia. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, yeah. Ian Hamilton. And as now relievers go, go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge no. for him. Outside low, 1-0. Hamilton in his third season. He features a slider, a sinker, and he works in a four-seamer. Hit in the air, right field. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Acuna now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters oh, in the game. Oh, 
Just missed. 2023 was a special season for Ronald Acuna Jr., the unanimous MVP in the National League. After putting together the first ever 40 70 season in baseball history, it's safe to say he's going to be a special player for a long time. One down, base is empty. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. So digging in, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Got a good eye there. Pitch misses. Ball two. Two out, space is empty. That one finds the zone. Two and one now. And another ball. Matt Olson on deck for Atlanta. Two down, nobody on. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. And here's a 3-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Down the number two hitter. Juan Soto. Oh. And a pitch. And oh. that's too high. One ball, no straight. Two and there's a ball. The wind to kick the 2 0. Last ball for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Outside. And now three and one. Giancarlo Stanton waiting for a turn at the plate. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ground ball right side. Olsen oh. takes it to the bag. One away. Bottom of the six. Up next to the game. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Oh, that one misses. And that's ball one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. A dive, and he can't haul it in. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. That's such a frustrating play for an outfielder. You know you should make this play, but you never really had a chance because of the bad angle. What should have been an out turned out to be a double. Alex Verdugo will hit next. We got time. One for two. Substitution now at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Anthony Volpe. Volpe. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. And that one fouled off. Move to second. Back in safe. Really close. Good wheels out there on second. And he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. And now the one. Runner on the go again. Tag. Ow. Darno, great throw. Well, I can see he had a big lead out there at second base, so it wasn't a shock when he took off. But trying to steal third right there, it's kind of risky, man. You're already in scoring position, so you've got to make sure that you can make it there safely. That wasn't the case. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. The Braves up by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering way upstairs. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning.
Back in the Bronx. Matt Olson up to the plate. The first baseman. Matt. Hamilton back to work. That's the ball. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Slider misses outside. Next offering is down low. And now time is called as we'll get a visit to the mound. Two relievers just got up to throw out there in the bullpen. That one catches the corner for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Albies having a lot more success on the road this season. The pitch. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Olsen on at first. Nobody out. Pitch way upstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Into center field, that'll fall for a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys now, like Scott Efros on a pitch here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Next to hit, Marcelo Zuna. That one missed. First and second, no outs. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Oh. Big swing and a miss. One ball. Barely was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next offering is downstairs. And that is a big first out. Here's Jared Kellner. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. But I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. One ball. One in the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Runners at first and second with one gone here in game one of this three game set. And the righty deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Missed with a changeup. Now two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Steps off and bluffs a throw at second. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. It's a first and second with two outs. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. And that's a strike. First and second, two down. Just no, missed. One and one. Next 
Stomper in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh, Joe Jimenez. He's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. The Yankees going with a pinch hitter, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. The pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Harris makes a nice running catch. The Almost the a loud start play. to the inning on that oh, first man. pitch. Man, he's going to want that wow. one back, no doubt. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. This ball's chopped in the ground. Throws the first in time. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's now still that, important to execute it to perfection. This Go. game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Ripped, but it curls foul. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Rips that one to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And the inning is over. One, two, three. Staying in the game on defense, Jazz Chisholm Jr. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. It's a bullet, but it goes foul. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. And he takes a strike. For a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike one. Bounce to third. Dives and he can't hang on. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. Down in order. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Rysel Iglesias. His first test will be from the left side, and that's been a struggle for him this season. They've been seeing him pretty well and doing some damage against him. The Yankees going with a pinch hitter. Anthony Rizzo. Big spot for him here. Rizzo. And he deals. And that's through there for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Smoked into left field, base hit. 
hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity and he came through for his club right there and now the catcher comes up to him right. Jose Trevino The Yankees going with a pinch hitter, Aaron Judge. He represents the go-ahead run. There's a strike. Here comes a pitch. Oh! One plate on Myers trying One to tighten strike. things up a little bit. And a 1-1. One -one. That's a hit! The throw to second. Stay safe. He beats it. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Lineup flips over. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Aaron Boone making a move for a new bat. Glaber Torres. A critical at bat in this game for him. Right side, Acuna has it sized up. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now back, the designated hitter, Juan Soto. Here's Juan Soto. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss as he was oh, out okay. front. And that's outside. With the tying run at second, go ahead, run at first. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice stop over to Albies. What a double play that was. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. And a pitch. Oh. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And a foul ball. There's a strike. <laughs> and 
and there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Not in no, time. He's safe. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any no, vibration no, no. in your hands no, no. whatsoever. Such no, no. a good feeling. When you connect no, no. and it jumps off your bat like that. New pitcher no, for the no, Yankees, no, no. Victor no, no. Gonzalez. Just no, trying no, to keep no, this no. one close here, and this no, no. is where a bullpen can give their players a chance no, no. to fight back into the game. In the air, left side. He's got it, and there's one down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. The batter, the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. One for three. Oh. oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Cutter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Gonzalez deals. That missed one. by a lot. Two and one. Man at second. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. At the belt and fires. That one is hammered right field. That's back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Runner scores from second as they add on an insurance run. It's 4-2. The throw to third, and he's out, That's trying good. for three. But now into the ball game on defense, Glaber Torres. He takes over and right. For the now playing right field, number 25, Glaber Torres. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves first pitch doesn't find the zone Gonzalez 28 years old and they went out and made a trade for him last season next pitch is outside swings through that one for strike two that's a swing you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tuck the ball that up. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, Jared Kellner. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So it's one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, A.J. Minter. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. fouled off the Yankees looking to rally and now the lefty foul ball still a one and two count and here it comes that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the catch and there's one gone. And next will be the, the cleanup back. hitter, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. And they're at the knees. That's strike one. And that one ripped into right, and foul ball. Oh. 
Here's a high fly ball out to center. Arcia brings it in with a nice run and grab. Oh, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging now, back into the outfield. The There's part of him that's saying, hey, where yeah. are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he yeah. stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Ground ball, and this should do it. All these on the first ball game. And the Braves take game one of the series on the road. Well, at this point of the year, first day of the summer, teams are really starting to figure out who they are. No more excuses about cold weather or any inclement conditions. Now I think we'll start to see what this team is really made of as we move forward. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.